Supporters of Evo Morales' movement towards socialism or mass party are on the cusp of celebrating an election victory in Bolivia. A mass party spokesperson said the party would await the final results before declaring victory. Let's remain a little patient and await the official results of the Supreme Electoral Court. We know we need to await the legal framework and in order to have a good celebration, we are waiting on those results. Two private surveys based on exit polls predicted that the party's candidate Luis Arce had garnered more than 50% of the vote in Sunday's election. He has a 20-point lead over his closest rival, the centrist former president, Carlos Mesa, who got around 30%. On Monday, Mesa and his citizen community party conceded. The result of this quick count is very convincing. The difference between the first candidate and us, citizen community, is wide. And it is up to us who believe in democracy to accept the results, be they favorable or not, and recognize that there has been a winner in this election. From Argentina, where he's in exile, former President Morales hailed the election as a victory for socialism. He said he would return to Bolivia, although he faces criminal charges from the outgoing interim government. Sooner or later, we're going to return to Bolivia. That's not up for debate. And yes, there are many processes which are part of a dirty war and so many lies. The vote may have rescued Morales' political life, but he says he will stay out of the new president's way and return to where he first became a union leader. El Alto, the high altitude city above La Paz, has long been a stronghold for Evo Morales, but his popularity had waned in other parts of the country. His party and its new candidates, analysts say, managed to recover that support in this election. Morales remains the figurehead of the mass party, but supporters insist his former finance minister will be leading it. Dan Collins, CGTN, La Paz.